Nuvo Iron How to Install Round Balusters for Stairs. You'll need to purchase two 2x4s for your top and bottom rails, material for your handrail, such as another 2x4 or our decorative handrail, and appropriate fasteners to secure the handrail. You'll also need one pack of 26-inch round balusters, one pack of round baluster stair connectors, one pack of rail connectors, as well as post caps and post base covers for each post. This installation method also works with our CR26 contractor pack, which includes both the balusters and connectors. Learn more about our contractor packs on our website. Today, we're going to be installing stair railing with the sleek and elegant Nuvo Iron Round Balusters, perfect for decks, porches, gazebos, and more. You'll need a pencil, drill, saw, square, level, clamps, mallet, and a tape measure to complete your project. It's important to make sure this product, as well as the fasteners you use, are right for your project. You can learn more about this at nuvoiron.com. Our 26-inch round balusters for stairs have a finished railing height of 36 inches. To get the rail length, lay your rail on the steps between the top and bottom stair posts. To get the angle required to cut your rails, place your 2x4 rails along the steps and clearly mark where it meets the post. Next, we're going to remark our rails to account for the rail connector hardware. Subtract the thickness of your connectors from the final measurement. Now you'll have your final rail cut measurement. Cut your rails at the appropriate angle. Clamp the top and bottom rails together with the top rail inverted. Measure the section and divide in half to find the center point of the railing and mark this spot. Now we'll install the SMSRA baluster connectors. For most sections, starting at center and marking every 5.5 inches will result in clean, up-to-code spacing once your balusters are installed. For some rail sections, you may have to start slightly off-center to ensure the spacing between balusters near the end of the rail is as even as possible, and also doesn't leave too large of a gap between the last baluster and the post. Ensure the spacing between balusters or baluster to post once installed never exceeds 4 inches for safety reasons and to comply with building codes. Your rail connector screws will go in about 2 inches into the rail, so we also need to keep that in mind as well when marking to make sure the baluster isn't installed too close as we don't want it to interfere with these screws. That's why we suggest marking where all your connectors will be placed first before installing them to make the planning and installation itself as successful as possible. Attach the wedge piece to the fastener portion of your connector. Now attach your fastener portion of the connectors to the marking on your rail. Make sure to stay on the center of your marks when attaching each connector. Ensure you attach the fasteners with the wedge piece in the right direction. The top and bottom rail baluster connectors should be facing the opposite direction. Then unclamp the rails. With your top rail on its side and against a stable surface, attach the balusters to the connectors. Have someone help you hold the rail section down while you're installing. Once the balusters are attached to the top rail, grab your bottom rail and align the connectors to the balusters. We suggest just seating them into the connectors until the full section is aligned. Then, you can take a mallet and tap the bottom rail into place to attach the full railing section together. Next, we'll install the SDRC stair and deck rail connectors. As we'll be using these for stairs, be sure to remove the metal seat plate before you start. Slide the SDRCs over the ends of the rails and attach with the screws provided through the back of the brackets into the rail. To determine where to install your rail, use clamps or have someone temporarily hold your section in place. Then, measure up from the nose of the stair to the top of the rail. This height for stairs is typically 36 inches high with the handrail. Account for the thickness of your handrail for the final install height measurement. Mark your posts and use a square to create a level mark. Place the section so the top of the railing meets your railing height mark and then install it using the screws provided with your rail end connectors. Decided to use a handrail? We'll be using the Nuvo Decorative Pressure Treated Top Rail, but you can also use a 2x4 or deck board. Measure your handrail the same way we measured our top and bottom rails. Cut your handrail to fit. Then attach the rail using fasteners that work best with the thickness of your material. 
we'll be using number 8 fasteners 2.5 inches in length. Now that we've installed our stair railing, we're going to accessorize our posts. And that's it! You successfully installed one section of stair railing with surface mount round balusters. Now, you've completely transformed your outdoor space and created a beautiful and complete look that'll last you for years. For more information about this or any of our other products, visit nouveauiron.com.